So I found this in the office the other day, and I realized that most of you have never even seen this. You don't even know what it is, nor do you maybe even care, but I, I actually want to share because this Betacam SP videotape, well, not this exact one, but these are things that I used to work with for so many years on an everyday basis. Uh, this was the standard across television for video cassettes in pretty much the 80s, 90s, and even into the 2000s. Every television network, every station you would go to, they would have at least like 30 videotape machines to play this format, the Beta SP uh, format of tapes. Um, I think I said at the beginning that uh, this is a 60 minute tape, says so right there. They also used to make this same size in a 90 minute version. And just for perception here, I mean, this is an iPhone 11. You can see how big and bulky this videotape is. Uh, probably weighs a couple pounds. I don't have the exact measurement, but yeah, this is so old school. I can also tell that this one, I don't know where it's been all these years. Uh, it's completely unused because you can see how uh, clean the lid is right there. Uh, this opens up to reveal the tape. That's what happens when uh, the tape used to go in the machine. I can <laughs> still open this up with a pen. This is my old trick. You open up one side, then you go, let's see over here, open up the other, and there you go. That is, I mean, it's amazing. Like we'd put all our information and all of our best work on a tape just like that. Um, yeah, nowadays, everything is on hard drive. Uh, it's instantly accessible. You don't have to worry about this tape ripping or crinkling. Uh, I mean, just the technology blows your mind. And really, in the course of the last, you know, 15 years or so, this has become a dinosaur. Um, but it's just something that was a part of my life on such an everyday basis using these beta tapes. Uh, like I said, this one hasn't been used. I know that because, look, the labels are still here unused after all this time. Um, if you saw the video that uh, was recorded on this tape, like if you watched this tape right now, you would not be impressed with the video quality. Uh, four by three aspect ratio, in addition to something like, I don't know, 500 lines of video. I mean, we're all familiar now with 720 and 1080. Those are lines and now even 4K. 4,000 lines versus 500. That is a huge difference. But again, this was the standard across television for so many years, this beta SP tape. Uh, how many of these do I still have? Wow, uh, I have a suitcase full of these still. Now, most of the content here has already been dubbed over to hard drive or other formats. I have some on disc format. We evolved into that next. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I keep these tapes because why not? You see some of the, the smaller 15 and 30 minute tapes in here too. Uh, maybe more sentimental than anything else. Uh, but yeah, these tapes were heavy. They were hard to lug around. That's why I have them in a suitcase. Um, but the beta SP format is where I got my start. You could literally edit uh, on two machines, tape to tape. I mean, nowadays everything you know comes from media, usually like a flash drive into the computer. The computer edits, edits it and then it's gone. It's all digital after that. Um, but back in the day, I mean, you would edit from one tape onto this tape, and then you would play this tape live on television. Uh, we do not do that anymore. We will never do that again. Uh, but I will also never forget this format, the beta SP format. And yeah, look at this thing. It's still completely rewound. This tape has never, ever, ever even been in a machine before. Classic. Classic.